Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, so far we have understood how to calculate the plane beam layout, uh, the concrete quantity, and all. So, I have this assignment for you. See, there is already a plane beam layout plan. This is one of the drawing which I have already attached. Okay, in this drawing, go to your plane beam layout plan and try to find all the quantities from here. What all quantities you will find? First, you will find the plane beam PCC quantity. Then you are going to find the plane beam concrete quantity. I mean the shattering quantity. Then you will find the plane beam concrete quantity. This three quantity you have to find. Okay. Uh, backfilling, if you want, you can find the backfilling. Else, not required. But if you can do that, uh, do the backfilling quantity also. Not an issue. Okay. So, uh, if you remember, this is one of the assignment what I had given you. So, I think this assignment you might have done initially, right? You might have had done a separate Excel sheet for this particular building. So, what you do? Uh, in the same Excel sheet, try to uh, find out the quantities, the PCC quantity for all this plinth beam. Now I'll try, I'll teach you one simple trick. Instead of writing like this now, instead of writing, see, here these people are not mentioned. It is PB1, PB2, PB3 and all. They haven't mentioned. You yourself have to write like PB1, PB2, PB3, PB4, PB5, PB6, PB7 and so on. Okay. And I already explained you that whenever you do the naming, no, you will start from the left to right. And you'll go from top to bottom. That means left to right from top, I'll start. So this will be my first PB1. This will be PB2, PB3. Then come horizontally. PB4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Horizontally is done. Now you go vertical. So up to here, it's done. 17, I guess. Then this will be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And uh, 32, 33, and 34. Getting my point? So this is how the plinth beam naming will be given by a structure consultant. You can follow the same pattern. Now, what you do, instead of taking one individual beam, I told you, instead of taking a single beam, no? Instead of taking a single beam, it's a time-consuming process. Now, you do, do you do it in a different way. I'll teach you the other method, how it has to be done. Okay. So this method, I'll just uh, randomly do it here. Okay. So this method is very simple. First, try to go horizontally. That means first we'll try to find the quantity for this particular plinth beam. I'll teach you the uh, plinth beam uh, concrete quantity. Okay. The rest the PCC quantity and you'll try on your own and you can send me the Excel sheet once you prepare. See, you can send me the 73 at gmail.com. Okay. So this is my uh, mail ID. Once you prepare or if you have any doubt, you mail me on this. I'll be uh, clearing your doubts also. Also, I can uh, verify your answers also. Okay, fine. So how you do? Now you write all these things. Now we'll start from this grid. You can write grid X1, Y1 to grid X1, Y4. You're getting my point? So this is horizontal grid, isn't it? So it is X1. So I'll write grid X1. I'll randomly write it here. Okay. You have to make a proper sheet. Grid X1, Y1 to grid x1 which is at last one x1 y4 okay this is y4 y4 x1 uh, y4 make this as grid uh, x1 y1 okay y1 okay so this is what you have written now so first i'll find the length of it so length what i'll do very simple go back here now you have to calculate all the length okay so calculate all the length see where we find this what is that plain beam concrete quantity where i require i require here right this part i require this part i require and this part i require only here your concrete quantity will come and here only your shattering quantity will come and here only your pcc quantity will come i'm doing for concrete quantity okay fine so what you do you add all the value from center to center six meter plus 6 meter plus 6 meter up to here. How much it is? 6 plus 6 plus 6. I'll do it directly in the Excel sheet. So I'll write here length plus 6 plus 6 plus 6. Okay. All 6 meter you added. Now again come back here. So but we want it from the outer face, isn't it? We started it from here. In the same way, we want our the length to close outer of this column. I mean inner of the column. But it has gone up to here. So what we can do? Whatever column part we have that is this much column part this much column part I need to deduct wait this much column part I need to deduct 
here full column i need to detect here full column i need to detect and here half column i need to detect okay now what is the size of the column the size of the column is we know that the size of this column is 400 by 450 okay 400 is a width and this length is 450 so it is exactly at the center only right if you can see it properly it is exactly at the center that means out of 400 on the left part from the center line to the left it is 200 from the center line to the right it is 200 so i'll deduct all this so i'm going to get the total length so how we are going to deduct very simple see here how much it is 200 very simple half half i need to take i'll write 200 here this is a complete column complete column you have to detect so what is the breadth of your column 400 okay this 450 is this portion we are not when we are going in this line then your depth will come into play right now only the width of my column is required this is also 400 and this is also 400 now what to do from the overall length i need to detect all this width that is 400 plus 400 plus 400 comes out to be 1200 1.2 plus 200 1.4 so what i'll do no i'll directly do it i'll directly i can directly detect minus 1.4 for our understanding i'll do minus 0 0.2 first minus 0 0.4 full column minus 0 0.4 full column minus 0 0.4 full column and say enter so you got the complete length of a uh, length of the beam you got the length next what you require breadth you require and now i require the depth of my beam okay finish what is the breadth of your uh, this thing beam i don't know from here i'll go here it's already mentioned 300 is a width and 500 is a depth of my column sorry depth of my beam so breadth is 0 0.3 concrete quantity directly we are supposed to take and depth is 0 0.5 done so keep here i want to find the concrete quantity i want length i'll multiply this by breadth i'll multiply this by depth i'll get the total Sorry, they should come here. Why it's not coming? Okay. Wait. It won't leave. Yeah. Depth, breadth, and this length. Finish. So total I required 2.49 cubic meter of a concrete. So I explained you for one thing, you no? Know? I explained you for this length. This entire thing is thing is length. Even if you break it, no, even if you break it uh column by this thing, grid by grid, then also you'll get the same answer. If you want, I'll do that also. Quickly let me do that. Okay. I'll roughly I'll do manually, I'll do, I'll teach you. I'll not do there. Okay, see. Uh this length is six meter, but we want to take point two will go from here, and point two will go from here. That means six sir, minus zero point two from the left side will go. Okay, and zero point two from the this part will go. So I'm I'm getting so I'm getting 5.6. So I'll write here. So this is 5.6. This also will be 5.6. This also will be 5.6. Agree with me? Now this is how much? 300 by 500. So I'll multiply this. Very simple. Zero. Uh, 5.6 multiply by 0 0.3 multiply by 0 0.5. Tell me the answer. How much you're getting? 5.6 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.5. 5.6 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 0 0.84 so 0 0.84 i got for one similarly here also it will be same thing here also it will be 5.6 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 which is 0 0.84 and here also it will be same thing 5.6 multiplied by 0 0.3 multiplied by 0 0.5 will be 0 0.84 now you add everything 0 0.84 plus 0 0.84 plus 0 0.84 2.52 i am getting i'll see in the excel sheet how much value i got okay it is 2.49 how come 2.49 and i'm getting 2.52 then this length might have been some mistake we'll see what mistake we have done okay yeah we did one mistake no no it's correct no see six and six this is 200 from here also 200 goes yeah, from here also 200 goes, from here also 200 goes. Then why it's not coming? 6 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2. 6, 2 from the left minus 0 0.2. 5.6. 3 into 0 0.5. 
we should get the correct answer no? why it's coming wrong 6 plus 6 plus 6 minus 0 0.2 from okay ah see one mistake we have done here okay so this was 0 0.4 this was 0 0.4 but this is half no yeah see so when you do manual calculation no whatever excel mistake you have done that also will come out yeah now it is fine see 2.52 we got and how much did i get here how much did i get so yeah yeah 2.52 now you add it 0 0.84 into 3 i'll do yeah i'm getting 2.52 manually cubic meter same thing i got in the excel sheet also getting my point so i did it for one beam no now what you do if you have time and if you're interested you go in the same way horizontal this beam i did you again do for this beam okay again you write grid x2 y1 to grid which one x2 y5 and then you finish this part in the same way next you finish this part next you finish this part next you finish this part then again come in this way now this will be grid y1 to x4 okay next grid y2 to or you can write in this way grid y2 x1 to grid y2 x4 this will be grid y3 x1 to grid y3 x4 grid y4 x1 to grid y4 x4 so in this way if you try to do no in a single stretch you can finish all your concrete quantity okay and the same thing holds correct even for the shuttering also now shuttering again where you will put the shuttering shuttering you are going to put in this portion only shuttering in this portion you are going to put shuttering in this portion you are going to put that means length remains the same that length into 2 into length plus breadth you do formula for the shuttering is how much shuttering formula is 2 into yeah shuttering formula is 2 into length plus breadth length plus breadth and this will multiply it by depth no so with this we'll get the shuttering quantity for one okay so what i'll do i'll do it for you only for directly let me do that so i'll do it so two multiply by what is the uh, length plus breadth okay so what is the length so length is overall length i'll take length i can take overall length which which we got some 16 point something yeah 16.8 i got i'll take the length is 16.8 okay 16.8 okay plus length i got complete length i got plus breadth breadth is 300 mm 0 0.3 close the bracket and this you multiply by depth depth is 0 0.5 that is 500 so both the side i'll get this side also i'll get this side also i'll get okay fine so 2 into 16.8 plus 0 0.3 and I multiplied by 0 0.5 so it comes out to be 17.1 17.1 square meter now let me verify this verify my answers okay I was getting how much here in each of the 6 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 I was getting 5.6 so I'll do it for individual now so this length was 5.6 I'll multiply the length by uh, shattering quantity how I will find yeah uh, length I got I'll multiply this by the breadth. The breadth is 0 0.3. And this I'll multiply by 2. Because one shuttering will be on this side. Agree? One shuttering will come here. And one shuttering will come here. Okay? So that is why I'm multiplying this by 2. This this length I got. Yeah. Length I got. Breadth I got. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I think uh, I made a mistake. Yeah. 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 Wait. This should be. 5.6 length into height I should take a yeah, depth exactly okay depth will be 0 0.5 so length and depth 0 0.5 I'll get for one for one I'll get okay and uh, for two side I need to multiply this by two uh, do the calculation so it will be 5.6 length into height is 0 0.5 one side I got for two side it will be two so it is 5.6 5.6 uh, square meter okay square meter so this is the answer for this part and here also it will be 5.6 i'll write here here also same calculation you need to do okay here also same answer you'll get because the length will remain same here also you'll get 5.6 and now let me add it yeah 